I have a skill where I can blow into a stomach tube and make the sound like elephants. That was a good idea. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam Bonner. I'm a partner in Grow Vets in Ballymena and I specialise mostly in, in cattle work, especially dairy. The months of November and December see many cases of calf pneumonia in young calves. Stress is a big factor. Stress comes in the form of housing, weaning and castration perhaps. Pneumonia is caused mainly by viruses like us taking the cold and the flu and can be complicated by other bacteria. That's why treatment is so difficult. Our antibiotics only kill the bacteria. The viruses run their course. Signs of pneumonia to look for are calves not coming forward to feed, nasal discharges, fast breathing or coughing. And when we as vets examine we find that they have high fevers and noisy lung sounds. It's around about 103, so it's 103.2. It's come down a couple of degrees, a couple of uh, Fahrenheit degrees in uh, less than 12 hours. It's, it's hanging in there. Probably as a wee soft calf, just maybe not the great immune system fighting the disease, but we're giving it all the help we can. Treatment sadly isn't always successful. Some animals will die. Some are left with lung damage and inability to thrive. So the last few years, the emphasis has moved from treatment to prevention. The first line of defense should be designing cattle sheds with better ventilation. Stale air and moisture traps viruses and disease spreads easily through the cattle shed. Unfortunately, building design is still driven by builders and engineers rather than healthcare professionals. The second line of prevention is using vaccines against viruses and some bacteria. They can be given intranasally or by injection. The aim is to give them to the cows before they face the disease threat. The vet is the best person to, to give a tailored vaccination plan for each farm. He will have knowledge of disease in the area and they may base the decision on nasal swabs, blood samples or sadly post-mortem results in the past. Mm -hmm.